Hey everybody, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me, and welcome to your June monthly readings for each and every zodiac sign, yeah? Um, if you've been following me for some time, you know that I use, I was doing readings bi-monthly for the zodiac signs, but that has become too taxing, okay? It's a lot, a lot of work, and I have a lot going on um, in life, so I have to really pull it back a little bit. So instead of doing bi-monthlies, I'm just going to do it once a month for each zodiac sign. However, I am adding some extra oracle guidance into the readings. And this is something that I've been wanting to do for some time now. I'm really, really excited to bring this to you guys. For this month, I will be pulling, I will be using, um, you know, the traditional Tarot deck. I have the Arcanum deck that I'm using this month. But then for Oracle Guidance, I'm going to be pulling Action Oracle Guidance from the Oracle of the Unicorns by Cordelia Francesca Brobs. I love this deck because mainly I love, I just love unicorns. And then we have um, Spiritual Guidance from the Crystal Mandala deck by Alana Fairchild, okay? I'm, I'm really so happy to be doing it this way. Um, I actually wanted to add Oracle Guidance into it for some time now, but because it was bi-monthly and it was so much work to begin with, I didn't want to make the readings longer um, and take more time than I had to. But now because I'm doing this, you know, once a month, I'm definitely going to be keeping this Oracle Guidance in. I may switch it up. I think I am going to stick with the Crystal Mandala Oracle for spiritual guidance, but I may change over when it comes to action, uh, physical guidance from the oracles. Okay, I am available for private readings. Um, all of the information for that is in the description box below. So if anything resonates with you and you want to get a deeper understanding of it, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can email me and we can chat a little bit and I can schedule you and all and everything like that. Um, payments are through PayPal. I will send you a uh, an invoice from PayPal and we can do that. As soon as payment is secure, I will be able to uh, schedule your reading officially. Um, and just in case anyone was wondering if you are in the New York City area or you will be in the New York City area anytime soon, I am still doing readings at Om Shanti Bookstore. I'm sorry, bookshop in um, Manhattan on 14th Street between 2nd and 3rd Avenue. The website is in the description box below. Um, if you do want to get a reading with me there, I highly recommend that you call ahead of time and schedule the reading. I am there every Monday from 11 to 5. Um, scheduling it that way will ensure that you get your reading um, at the time that you want. Otherwise, if you walk in, you know there's a risk that I may not be available at that moment or whatever, okay? Please keep in mind, guys, that these are general readings, all right? So take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. And please do not try to fit something in where you know it doesn't belong, okay? If something doesn't resonate with you, just let it go. Um, and also, if you know you're in the reading and you're getting in there and it does, it's not really resonating with you and you've been watching it for a few moments and it's still not resonating with you, just move forward. I do encourage you guys to check out not only your sun sign, but your moon, your rising, and your Venus, okay? Your sun sign um, is, you know, it is like the main thing, sure, but then watching your moon and your rising, at least, can help you get more information. And like, if you don't resonate with your sun sign, then you might resonate with your moon and rising. And then also, if you're looking for love guidance, I would highly recommend that you check out your Venus sign, okay? You could not, you may not resonate with any of them except for one, you know? So like, just check it out, see how you feel and see what resonates. And I believe that's all. Yeah. So without further ado, let's get into the reading. Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your reading for the month of June. Thank you so much for joining me. We are moving into your birthday season. So happy birthday, Cancer. Yeah. All right. Let's get into this. Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Cancer for this time period of June 2018. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I do want to say, please excuse my nails. I really haven't had a chance to redo them, and I just really want to get through all these readings because I know I kind of fell off the bandwagon. So sorry, guys, but there's a little bit of ego vanity for you. <laughs> anyway, Cancer. Cancer, cancer, cancer. 
one more shuffle for you. And let's see what we got for you. All right, Cancer. So overall energy, we're starting out with oof, the Queen of Swords. I know that's right, honey. So some of you, um, yeah, so it's Cancer, a lot of you, if not all of you that are connecting with this message right now are very much in a Queen of Swords energy, not putting up with any bullshit. But what I'm seeing here is not that you are um, just looking to slice and dice and like whatever and just cut people up for no real good reason. You're really just in an energy of you're just not, you're not here for the drama and you're not going to take it. And what I'm seeing in this card, I, this woman is kind of reaching out towards someone, like giving somebody another chance or giving them a chance to, you know, make things right or whatever. But she still has that sword. So as soon as something does not does not like as soon as she comes into contact with something that she does not does not want in her energy she's gonna cut it out and we have the empress yeah underneath that we've got ooh, wow we've got the king of swords look at that and underneath all of that we've got the sun so cancer there's a lot of good balance within you right now like you have got your mental faculties in check okay you are very balanced um masculine and feminine energies are balanced within you and that is creating a really fertile environment for you cancer um with the empress here it's really creating a fertile environment for you to manifest to grow um to to produce that which you truly desire and with the sun shining on you guys like damn cancer this is great i mean this energy that i'm feeling right now for you guys is just fantastic i mean i'm literally seeing this uh, king and queen of swords here are, is the balance between masculine and feminine energies within you. Now, you can be a man, you can be a woman. All of us have masculine and feminine energies within us, yeah? Um, but your, your masculine and your feminine energies are super balanced, and it's creating this super fertile environment for you to manifest. And the sun is shining on it, providing all of the energy that your manifest manifestations, manifestations excuse me, need to grow. And boop, that is fantastic. <laughs> I mean, y'all got it going on right now. And this couldn't be the most and more perfect time because we're heading into your birthday season. So happy birthday, Cancer. <laughs> Moving forward, we have the Page of Wands with oof, the Nine of Swords. Okay, so there's still some anxiety going on here. Um, but this is... Uh, uh, some of you are stepping into a new spiritual reality. Some of you are taking a brand new um, journey. I'm hearing a leap of faith. And that's why the Nine of Swords energy is coming through. It's because you have this inspiration to move in a brand new direction. Um, but there's some anxiety about it because you are in this situation. You are the page. Um, and this is like a, this is spiritual work. This is a new passion project, um, a new um, way of, living a passionate new way of living even but it's so new to you that you really don't even really know what to expect you, know, you don't really you may not have your firm footing that you would like to have and so then that's causing anxiety but again guys the sun is shining moving forward we have justice hallelujah justice and this is some real good justice i mean this is not just like this is not just like oh you know you you're, you 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 came out on the upper hand in some sort of situation or anything like no this is overall like divine justice because of the king and the queen of swords here you know i mean there is so much balance within you right now cancer it's fucking fantastic um now you could be dealing with a libra you could be dealing with a taurus with the empress uh, i don't remember exactly what else the empress embodies other than taurus um there is another sign Please put that down in the description box, or I'm sorry, not the description box, the um, the comments if, you know, you you know what that is and for others that would re resonate with that. But um, anyway, zodiac signs, it doesn't really matter when it comes to, you know, this, this stuff because these are general readings, okay? So it could, really could be anybody, but ah, justice and the two of wands. So justice and the two of wands is saying for you, Cancer, that you, you're no longer trying to decide what to do. Um, I feel like some of you were being indecisive in which path to take when it comes to a passion project. Um, 
or maybe a new way of life or whatever, but that could be because I'm picking up that there were some outside influences that were keeping you from going in the direction that you truly wanted to go in. And you reached this internal balance between masculine and feminine energies um, with the King and Queen of Swords here, and now that has given you the courage, the strength, and the wherewithal to choose the path that you have ultimately have been wanting to take for a very long time now. So that is where justice is coming into play for you. Very good. Moving forward, we have the Page of Cups with the Hanged Man. Okay, so there could be someone around you that wants to come forward and offer you some sort of um, affection, um, bring some sort of message of love to you. Um, this could be you. You could be wanting to reach out to someone else and bring some loving messages to them. But ultimately, someone is in a period of suspension, of, um, of um, imposed self-imposed isolation in order to get... Uh, a different perspective in order to reach uh, achieve some sort of enlightenment when it comes to the situation also cancer this could be you um, just trying to make sense of a situation when it comes to love or when it comes to emotional fulfillment in order to um, you know just see the situation differently I'm feeling like for some of you we're crossing into some sort of a relationship reading um, and you're just trying to figure out how to proceed, how to approach someone is what I heard. Or someone could be trying to figure out how to approach you. Or you have some sort of relationship that you've been struggling with, dealing with, going back and forth with. And you're trying to figure out if you really want to continue with this relationship. I, I really, I just wanted to say if you really truly love this person. This could also be someone around you, Cancer, that is, that is juggling this or trying to figure this out. Moving forward, we have the King of Pentacles with the Nine of Wands. So, um, I, I, I'm wanting to say this, so I'm just going to say it. Um, we have Air with the King and Queen of Swords um, uh, and Justice. We also now have Earth with the Empress, but then also with the King of Pentacles. This could be a Taurus, Gem uh, Taurus Leo, I'm sorry. Wow, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Um, but someone's on the defensive. Someone is fighting through something. I feel like somebody, there is a Taurus around you, there's a Taurus around some sort of cancers that, that have uh, some sort of defenses up. I mean, this is not the Seven of Wands, it's the Nine of Wands, but, um, you know, someone's really fighting a battle and someone's continuing to fight the battle. Okay. They may not be approaching it. They may not be coming all that correct or as correct as you may want them to, but they're fighting. And I feel like they're fighting against others. I feel like there is, there's just, there's some sort of energy. This could be you cancer, but there's just some sort of masculine energy. Um, it could be a man or a woman too, but there's a masculine energy that is really fighting a war here, fighting a battle. And I'm hearing that it's all in way it turns to get to you cancer. So some of you are resonating with that. Moving forward, we have the Three of Swords. Heartbreak, yeah. With the Knight of Cups in reverse. So there is heartbreak um, either for you, Cancer, or for somebody that you are associated with. Because, um, like, yeah, I felt it. I picked up on it. As soon as this Page of Cups came around, I was like, uh-oh, we're getting into a relationship situation. But there is somebody here that is heartbroken because some sort of message has not been sent with the Knight of Cups in reverse, or they feel like they cannot make uh, an emotional offer. Um, yeah. Now, it could be, it really could be, that this Three of Swords energy is, um, is not being able to. Someone is, be, is heartbroken because... They feel like if they were to make some sort of offer, they would probably be rejected. And if that's the case, then that's because of their own actions, okay? It's like a situation where they kind of put themselves in this position, and now they don't know what to do to get out of it. So that could be why someone is um, in the hangman state with trying to gain perspective on the situation. And um, with the king of pentacles and the nine of wands, really 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 struggling and powering through this battle but for you cancer i mean 
you've got the king and the queen of swords. <laughs> so you're like as objective as possible. You know what I mean? That's a really good thing. So I'm really picking up that there's, this is the energy that I'm speaking of right now is somebody else around you. Okay. Moving forward, we have the eight of cups walking away, Cancer. Walking away from things that don't serve you, though. It's not like you're walking away because you're just done with a situation. You're walking away from something because you're realizing how it's just not even worth it. At least at this moment, from what you're getting from this other person, it's really just not worth your time. Uh, with the Queen of Cups. So there you are again, Cancer. You're showing up here. And, that's, and that is literally what I was just saying. You understand your worth. You understand your value. You understand that you have love to give and you're going to give it. And so you're just going to move forward with your life and let whatever happens, happen. Like if this, if this person comes back, this person comes back. That's great. But if they don't, you will move on to someone else that is ready for you. And the fact that this is showing up under the two of wands in reverse with justice is literally saying exactly that. You don't have to be stuck in this position anymore of trying to figure out which path to take. You know which path to take because you know your worth, okay? Moving forward, we have the, <laughs> the King of Wands in reverse, yeah, with the Two of Swords in reverse. Mm. There is someone that was indecisive in the past and was holding on to you <laughs> Um, for selfish reasons, because they were in a, and it's funny because this two of swords is not coming up for me as, um, you know, indecis indecisive, but like afraid to make a choice or feeling like they're stuck. No, this two of swords is like, I am not going to make a choice. I'm going to continue to be my player type of person to play your type of masculine energy that I am. And I'm just going to play around and I'm going to keep you on on the low and like keep keep giving you little bits to keep you here and there but then i'm not really gonna make a decision yeah well guess what cancer learned their worth and now cancer's walking away and this person <laughs> and this person that is symbolized here by the king of, of wands in reverse and the two of swords in reverse is like oh shit <laughs> what the fuck did i do did i really just mess this up so much that now i really don't even have a chance with this person anymore like did i really keep them on a string for so long that now they've decided to literally just walk away from me and not even care and i can't even come around and play the same old tricks that i used to to get them back you damn right you can't i really hope you learn this lesson whoever whoever is symbolized by this king of wands in reverse and, but you know what though I do feel like they, they did kind of learn the lesson here because I feel like the King of Wands in reverse is related to the King of Pentacles upright in which I was saying someone is fighting a battle in order to get to you. Like someone finally like put on their big boy pants and stepped into reality and grounded themselves and now they see the battle that they have to fight in order to get this back. Lesson learned. And, I, and ultimately, like no shade, that's a good thing. So to this person that's cross-watching that is, um, or these people that are resonating or identifying with the King of Wands in reverse and the King of Pentacles, ultimately, like if, if this person, if this Cancerian or this person that you're cross-watching for doesn't really come back or ends up not really being in your life anymore, ultimately your contracts have been served and you have learned your lesson and now you can move forward with your life in a much better way, okay? Okay. Finally, for Cancer, we have Temperance in reverse with nine of the nine of cups. So um, there's a feeling of imbalance here still a little bit, Cancer. Um, mm -hmm. What I'm getting here, this is a final message. This could be for you, Cancer, um, but this also could be for some people that are cross-watching that are identifying with the lesson learned situation. You are realizing the imbalance here. Um, because you were just going after um, enjoyment. You weren't really looking to be serious about anything, and it threw a lot of things out of balance. You were overindulging in substances and partying and all that. Now, Nine of Cups is not reversed. Nine of Cups is upright. So it's not even like it was really all that extreme, but temperance is reversed. Um, so there is a realization here, a lesson learned, 
that there was an imbalance in a, on a spiritual level um, that was leading to excessive partying and drinking and food, indulging in things that just were not really serving you, you know? And now you see the light. Now you're understanding that, yeah, you gotta, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta grow up a little. <laughs> Ultimately, guys, for whoever is watching, Cancer or a cross watcher, you still have the sun shining. So what I'm seeing here actually is that there actually is some hope for this relationship, even though it may not feel like it right now or may not seem like it right now. There is some hope for this relationship, okay? If we're talking about a relationship. So let's get into some action oracle guidance here from the Oracle of the Unicorns. Oh, wow, this is actually a, might be a shorter video. Well, of course, now that I say that, it's probably, it's probably not going to be good. Who knows? We'll see. All right. So, for Cancer, for June, some action oracle guidance. Best messages, please. Strength. Okay. Oh, wait, I'm hearing that there's one more. There it is. And leadership. Excellent. So, the first one that came out here is strength. This challenge will make you stronger. You will get through it. You will get through to the other side. Look for the gifts in this situation. Okay? Cancer, strength to walk away. Crosswatcher, cross watcher, strength to see the error in your ways and to really learn this lesson. Yeah? You both have the power to get through it. Okay, and ultimately for the for both sides here, this leads to a, a, a leadership. Step into your leadership. Share your message. Inspi inspi inspire, excuse me, inspire and empower others. And this is done through the experiences that you've been going through, the lessons that have been learned. Yeah, you allow your life circumstances to um, be ways that you can teach others who are needing guidance, yeah? Okay, and now we're gonna get some spiritual guidance from the Crystal Mandala deck. All right, spiritual guidance, please for Cancer for the month of June 2018. One message? Yes, one message, please. Here we go. Oh, there it is. Sacred, sacred Revolution. So, uh, number 46, Goddess Kali and Black, Black Obsidian, Sacred Revolution. Okay, let me get into the book here. Give me just a second. We're almost there. <laughs> Boop. There we go. Sacred Revolution. We bring you the empowerment of Sacred Revolution. Revolution comes when a cycle of authority or power is ending. It has become inadequate for the task of leadership. Now, requi now, re now required, and a new order must be established in its place. It is not simply a chapter within a book drawing to a close, but an entirely new book, perhaps an entirely new genre, opening up according to divine will unfolding. In such cases, subtle change is not going to cut it. You need radical action to bring about the new order. That new order may be in your world or, may, or in your own being. When revolution is sacred, the new order will be that which allows you to become more of yourself to successfully attain your spiritual goals. And then that, honestly, look, that falls right in line, right in line with strength and leadership. Yeah? All right. So there it is, Cancer. There's your reading for the month of June. Thank you so much for joining me. I love you all, and I look forward to connecting with you for July. Yeah? And happy birthday. Take care, guys. Bye.